Uh, CJ, I guess you guys obviously got off to a great start, and then um, you know Washington State kind of came back into it. It seems like with the way you guys have you know beat UNM, you beat UTEP, you pull this one out. Like, how much resiliency has this team developed this season? Oh, I, it's it's unbelievable. Like we always get taught every day of practice to just bring it every time, like check out every time, and. Uh, just play hard like we just have to like one of the keys to the game is just check out and play harder than them like because we know that they don't practice harder than us and we just have to just keep on playing hard and just making sure that we have a good good ball body movement and just good mental focus every day we come out and play. Coach Jansen said this is a team that is, is probably going to take a lot of threes. Obviously, you guys took 34 tonight. Uh, you yourself had a really good game, 3 of 4 from 3. Is that something you guys saw on the scout? Because it seemed like you know they were going to attend to play a lot of 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, yeah, we, we, watched the, we watched video and film, and we saw that they played a lot of 1-3-1 one, one in zone and stuff. So he would, just, he would just say always just trust our stroke, and we have to make sure that we like once we get open shots and we're going to get a lot of them, just make sure to shoot your best shot. Like, we had to make sure that because they were baiting us sometimes, like, they were playing, like, in gaps, and we, they were baiting us to shoot, like, during the, like, close, like, towards the end of the first half, we started missing a couple of shots, taking, like, because they were baiting us into, like, kind of bad shots, kind of bad threes, because they, we were open, but they weren't, like, rhythm. Like, we want more good rhythm corner or, like, good rhythm threes, like, pass, like, pass to assist type stuff. Not very often that you get an opportunity against, you know, a, a good team like this in your own backyard. You guys drop one to St. Mary's. How big is it that you were able to get this one? Confidence kind of moving forward. Oh, it's it's uh, it's huge. It's huge. Just going on because of the next couple of days are going to be tough. We have a lot of big big opponents coming up, and then it's just we just have to keep on playing hard and make sure that this like we just keep this type of stuff. We just keep on rolling and just keep on making sure to keep on moving. Robert Franks came into the game after you know, 27 points a game. You guys held him to 17 tonight. And, you know, he's a pretty long guy. You know, he's experienced. How, what was the game plan coming into the game to defend him? And how do you guys, how did you play against him tonight? Uh, the game plan, because we saw on film that he liked to drive left a lot, so the game plan was to, like, play him square, but make sure to, like, you just beat him to the left hand because he's always going to try and drive left. And, like, all, obviously he's really good around the basket and stuff. Like, Kudos to him, like he did really, he did pretty well today, but it was just more of me. I just, I just, me and like all of the fours and fives that guarded him just had to make sure to just mentally lock in because everything was running was pretty much towards Frank. So I think we did pretty good as a team collectively together. Talk about the resiliency of this team, CJ. They never led in the game and yet they tied it twice, but every time they made that run, you guys would answer. Talk about the resiliency of this team today. Uh, the resilience is just, I just have to commend all my guys, man, because it was just a great effort because it would look like we they start like as you said, they would like tie it up and then we would it would just be like, man, we just have to like we would always just come into the huddles and we like, come on man, we gotta lock in, we can't let up. Like we all we obviously saw like after the first couple of minutes we kind of felt good because we were already like we had the crowd going behind us and then it was at our house and it's our goal. So we just had to make sure to just keep on going like the shots are going to fall. We just have to keep on attacking and making sure to just keep on fighting. And we came out with the win. Any other questions for CJ? One last, we'll talk about that crowd. That crowd was pretty loud tonight. It's unbelievable. I could barely talk to Johnny. I was trying to, uh, it was one ball screen right before, I think it was like coming up on the minute, minute mark. They started getting loud. I couldn't even, it was, it was a ball. It was a big on big screen. I couldn't even, uh, yell at Johnny to go like he couldn't even hear me like it was it was unbelievable the crowd's amazing I just I love I love and support all the fans I'm, I'm happy that they came out to come support us today I got one last one next up you got New Mexico a team that you guys handled in their building how important is it now to kind of celebrate this one tonight but turn the page and, and get right to it oh it's big we just have to make sure just we just have to make sure to just keep on doing what we did today and just get ready for it tomorrow we'll celebrate this one today but is back at it, back at it tomorrow as usual.